Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I've had a lot of you request uh, I cover this story. Uh, I'm happy to. I have some opinions on this matter uh, of Hartley Sawyer being fired from The Flash Season 7, I believe it is. Uh, I brought in my man, Lewis. Hey, Lewis, are you there? I'm here, buddy. Lewis of Nerd Report, thank you for being here to talk about Thanks this for story. Me here. Look, this is a sad story, all right? Um, it's Definitely. never good when someone's fired, canceled, especially when it's due to, you know, stupid stuff they shouldn't have said. Uh, let's cover all of this. I mean, the, the main headline here being that Hartley Sawyer was fired from The Flash after racist, misogynist tweets surfaced online. Uh, he plays Ralph Dibney, a.k.a. Elongated Man, on the CW series. He's been there for three series, three seasons. I, I like his character. Some people think it's silly. Uh, he was one of my favorites. I loved when he showed up, and I loved actually how they sort of uh, elongated his role on the show. I thought it was actually a, a character that I never would have thought worked, but he brought a lot of heart and fun uh, to it. Uh, so, look, I'm, I'm sad that this happened uh basically what happened i'm gonna get to your, your thoughts in a second Liz, but let's just get through the story and then we can both respond but uh the producers have said he hartley sawyer will not be returning to season seven of the flash um per their statement uh in regards to mr sawyer's post on social media we do not tolerate derogatory remarks that target any race ethnicity national origin gender or sexual orientation such remarks are anti antithetical uh, to to our values and policies which strive and evolve to promote a safe, inclusive, productive environment for our workforce. Um, and then uh, he actually tweeted a apology, which we'll get to. Um, but then another, well, the showrunner also apologized. Morning, many of you learned that Hartley Sawyer will not be returning. Concerning his social media tweets, they broke my heart and made me mad as hell. And they're indicative of the larger problem in our country, uh, which Grant Gustin, the Flash himself, replied, uh, saying that he was shocked and saddened and angry when he saw the tweets. Words matter. Uh, so look, the, the, let's let's get to the tweets. It is important to show that he this happened on the 30th of May. And uh, he did, uh, Hartley Sawyer did apologize on Instagram. He did a very lengthy apologize. We'll get to it. But I thought it's important to sort of gloss through some of these tweets. Now, I, I, YouTube won't let me really show you these without, you know, uh, dis, uh, you know, not sharing the video. Uh, and I want to make sure our content gets out there. So I, I'm not going to read some of this stuff. You can sort of um, see it here on screen, some of these tweets that are in question. Lewis, we've gone through a lot of these tweets. I mean, the ones I'm looking at right now, they're not great, but th so far they're not the ones that I'm like, yikes, cancel the guy. They're just really bad jokes. Um, and some of them definitely are, you know, uh, not, they're not proper. Uh, and then as we, as we get down and see more of sort of the things that have been pulled by clearly someone who was out to get him, uh, clearly someone who wanted to sort of make an example of digging up a lot of old things that were said. Uh, and, and again, some of these things here uh, still like, I don't even understand what he's trying to go for. Um, look, I'm not black, so it's hard for me to understand like this. I'm too black to burn from sun rays. I don't even know what that really means. I mean, uh, there's, it's white people, I guess, burn more in the sun. And so he's trying to say he's too black. Why? I, I don't understand. Um, so a lot, he is making, you know, a joke on Al Sharpton's expense, who's a, you know, obviously a big civil rights leader. Uh, so, uh, but still none of this really is like deemed cancellation to me, just stupid stuff from 2012, which is, you know, not that long ago, Lewis, let's be honest. Uh, but then it does start to get weird. Some, some words are used and he starts talking about abuse. Uh, if he had a wife, uh, and then, you know, doing things to homeless women and f farms. Look, the, as you can tell, as it continues, they get a little weirder and weirder and inappropriate and more inappropriate. But even still, it's like, why is he saying these things, Lewis? I don't <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, and then, you know, con it continues. Someone dug a lot of these up. Uh, it talks about abuse of his daughter uh, for having man clothes. So it's like, what? <laughs> I don't even know what this means. Uh, and then, you know, just some of these are just clearly bad jokes. Um, and then, you know, again, some of the stuff is not to me offensive. It's just bad and or dumb. Uh, but, you know, it clearly offended certain people. Um, and so uh, when you put it all together, God, actually, so fat. Why? Where are the skinny girls? Um, and then you get to this one. And talks about being outside of 7-Eleven and doing something to his ex-girlfriend that is should not be said out loud. Whether it's it, there's nothing funny about that. It just doesn't seem like it's a joke. Uh, and then he says this thing here, which I've seen people mention. Oh, see, he's saying he's a racist, but I didn't get that vibe from his tweet. Out to dinner, just expose myself as racist again. 
look, I've said things at dinners where I'm like, or with people like, wait, did I, I didn't mean to say it that way. Oh crap. I'm so sorry. Like, so uh, some of these things just feel out of context or weird. And then some of them like this talking about the Super Bowl. What does this have to do with the Super Bowl? Uh, Lewis, you know, you've, you've seen, you know what I'm talking about here. I, just, I can't say them out loud because YouTube of course doesn't, this yeah. is a free platform to say a lot of these things. But uh, look right here, it's like beating up dogs and how to <laughs> look, this isn't good. See, these aren't good looks. Uh, talking about putting burlap sacks on his victims' heads uh, to women. Look, we've gone through them all now. We've gotten a sense of it. It's not. It's no surprise then that you know Grant Gustin and others would be pretty quick to condemn him. At the same time, Lewis, you know the question then comes: Should he have been fired? Is really I think what the main you know issue here is. I think there are some things he needs to be accountable for, and to, to his credit, he has apologized. So he's admitting fault on a lot of this um which i we can see here uh you know i'm not here to make excuses regardless of my intention my words matter and they carry profound consequences and mine can and have caused pain and embarrassment along with feelings i can only imagine to supporters and fans the castmates the crew my colleagues i owe them all an apology and i owe each and one of you an apology thank you for holding me accountable he continues and, and does really talk about how he's ashamed and the journey he was on and he's a more responsible adult now and how he will define himself differently and do not let the you know these impact my words and my responsibility for them i'm very sorry like he he's He's giving a very heavy, heartfelt apology, so it seems. Uh, and obviously, uh, the, the cast and crew, as we sort of mentioned at the top, also upset. Grant Gustin saying, you know, I, I, I don't have much to add, but I'm, uh, this is, uh, I will say I'm shocked and saddened and angry when I saw the tweets. Words matter. Lewis, let's talk about this, because now that it's all out there, now we can sort of now share our feelings. <sighs> Clearly, some people were upset, offended by these tweets, so we can't ignore that. But whether they're right or wrong to be offended Everyone has a right to feel, you know, their their choices here. The question is, should he be canceled? Should he be fired is what sort of is happening to him currently. The reality is I do think it's fair that they fire him. If the comp if the cast and crew are uncomfortable with him, if the producers don't like what he's saying, he is a mouthpiece for the brand. You can't say some of those things as a member of the Flash superhero team. That's their right, right? They're, they're a business. They can decide who stays and who goes. Should he be canceled? No, I never believe in anybody being canceled. I think we should always try to educate and have dialogue to help people learn to not be say these types of things. Otherwise, you shove them off to the outskirts of the world, only making them simmer and get more angry and not able to learn. And that's not helpful for anybody. At the same time, we're in a, you know, a movement right now where you know, Black Lives Matter is, is, is it's a real thing that's important that we stand by and help support. And so it's not the time right now to be caught in this. So at the same time, it's not something he said right now. He said these years ago. So look, I'm torn. It's, it's, I, it's their right to fire him. Uh, I might have had more of a dialogue. We don't know what the dialogue was. Uh, Lewis, I'm going to go to you because I know you share some of the same feeling. And you can echo on this. It's interesting to me because he's been fired, but his castmates haven't been very vocal. They're not saying much about this issue. And to me, that's very telling. Lewis, what are your thoughts on this? I think that's the, the, the key right there is classmates have, uh, or his castmates have not uh, spoken up like they did. Uh, we were talking about for James Gunn. Uh, immediately, all those actors that were part of the Guardians of the Galaxy and more were sticking up for James Gunn from, I think, day one. So, we're not seeing that in this situation, but I think it has also a lot to do with the actors not as big as James Gunn. Let's be let's be fair. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but also, my experience covering CW stuff, uh, they're like families. The cast members take up to like eight months a year to go to Canada. A lot of them live in the in Los Angeles. He does, and they go away from their girlfriends or their relationships and their family. And they stay there. They're working 14 hours a day together closely. Perhaps some of the cast doesn't feel comfortable, Andy. And uh, maybe that's that's an issue. I don't know. I've never. I don't. I've never. I don't know the situation exactly. But that could be a point. So the tw the tweets, although 80 percent or 90 percent were stupid, um, some of those tweets were very offensive, especially the one where like. It seems like during the Super Bowl, you're going to talk about yeah, incarceration weird, rates. I mean, why? Why, does that have to do with anything? why are you going to do that, man? Well, and, and somebody seems to be having a vendetta as well because someone w knew these tweets happened at one point and looked for them and brought them up uh, to create the maximum damage possible, which is now. 
Yeah, well said. I mean, it's interesting yeah. because there is there is more to the story. When you I, and I've been trying to research it, but there's all these rumors and threads on Twitter now of of a Candace Patton who plays Iris and Danielle Panabecker plays Caitlyn Snow, like don't like each other. And the reality is, like, I don't know if that's true or not. But there's a lot of like the reality is what you said is true. It's a family on a set, but sometimes people hate each other on a set too. And that's sort of the, they do everything they can to sort of avoid that. Like the latest will and grace, there was a lot of drama about the reason that show ended early. That's revival, even though it was doing pretty well was because some of those cast members were at, you know, did not want to be anywhere near each other anymore because sometimes when you're in close proximity, stuff happens, you have difference of opinions or you date or whatever is goes wrong and things can go <laughs> south. So look, I, I, who knows what the status of that's all drama that I don't want to get into. It's not really out of our business, but it's no. telling, it's telling to know that, there's a lot, you know, there is obviously a lot of rumors and stuff about the cast, but it's telling to me that no one has stood up to defend him. And that's, that doesn't mean guilt. Like I can say from my own experience, look, people came out of the woodwork to just sort of say nothing, you know, like to, or to sort of just jump on the, the movement. So we're, we're seeing something here. And I think this is not going to be the first one. Mark Wahlberg was another one who just went through over the weekend. Uh, we don't need to get in his details. It's just a separate story. But the point being, we're in an important movement right now where a lot of people are going to be called out rightfully or not uh based off stuff they've said in their past to attempt to do right now and it's a slippery slope it's a slippery slope because it sort of tries it to me it's like well is that who they are is that really who they are what was the intent behind it and then you know the argument's gonna be well it doesn't matter we can't have racism or hatred in any form right now it needs to be an example so look this is a complicated issue the reality, though, is the show has every right to can't to fire him based off right. of what he said because look, they have a brand to withhold, and I get that. I can't, you know, that. But should we be canceling him and condemning him? That's where I. That's where I. I would disagree, and I don't think that's what it is. And it's disappointing to not see someone in that cast step up to say, you know, the, the, look, I condemn his words, but I know the guy. I don't believe this is what he meant, and I, I'm, I hope I'm here for him in his recovery, or you know, to learn to be better. Uh, I hope all of us can give him a shot as he goes down his own time and takes some time apart from the show. Like there are ways you can do this more civilly and more peace, you know, correct to like. You know, let him walk away. You know, there's things you could do, and they've made a hard line to say, nope, what he said was wrong. He's in the wrong. Good riddance. Get out of here. We are progressive, and he is not. So step out. And so, you know, look, some people are upset about that. Some people are applauding them. Uh, Lewis, I mean, final thoughts. Is this, is, do you, do you think this is the right thing ultimately? They have the right image wise to let him go. It's not the image that the studio wants, not or Warner Brothers Television in this case, uh, CW. Uh, there, I think there's going to be a part two of this story. We're actually, it started on the 30th. You said it comes out uh, now on the 8th, more than a week after. Um, tomorrow we may get some of the cast backing them up. Who knows? Maybe because what well, we only Grant Grant Gustin spoke out, but no one else did. Maybe. You know, or maybe they're just waiting till all this time in American history or world history um, kind of like, you know, fades away a little bit. Uh, and then maybe they bring him back. He is very, a very big part of the show. So that's going to be cause a problem for the writers. Uh, but this is way more important than the show uh, to have someone like what he's being accused of. It's, it's insignificant. You know, he needs to go if that's the case. Right. But it, that goes both ways, in my opinion, because it is a significant charge. And, you know, yeah. when you label someone a racist, it's a heavy claim. Well, what's a cancellation? Is you know? it a canceled from the show, this show, or to never allow the person to make a living again? Right. That's too, and, that's and the, too and the harsh. problem a lot of people will say, we don't know yet. It's too early to say, but you know, just yeah. because some people see me coming back and think I'm not, you know, I wasn't canceled. It, it's not, it doesn't work that way. There's still an emotional toll and it just, it's, it's a, it's something I wouldn't wish on the worst enemy. Now at the same time, you know, he did, he said these words, he's apologizing right. for these words. He's taking accountability and admitting he made wrong. So it's not like he was canceled in a way of like, Oh, he was wronged. It still, there's, there's a difference between, you know, burn him and we don't like what you said 
You know, like there's there's a difference, right? There, and that's what we just have to be careful of. In this one, you know, a lot of people were coming at him hard, saying he needs to get a push him out of here. And that's where I, that's to me the line we have to be careful of: this mob mentality of destroying someone in their in their livelihood uh, versus, hey, we don't like what you said here. We would like to educate you on being better than this. To me, that 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 is the difference of what we should be trying to do as a society instead of just condemning and judging and and rushing to judgment uh, and and not assuming that someone can change. Now. You know, in this instance, it wasn't that long ago. He should have known better. Well, the big problem as well, too, is, oh, someone else convinced um, is accusing me of being racist today. And then having racist tweets, kind of, you know, it's a little iffy. You know, yeah, look, so it looks bad. It's it not looks a, bad. But At the very least, it looks really bad. It does. <laughs> and it's a yeah. reminder for everyone, if you've done something in your past, clean up your, your history because it's all being checked by everyone in the world. And if you really have made a change, you should try to be changed for better and remove that from, you know, you got to be, we got to be smarter about our social media presence. There's a lot of young Well, people kids. get called out for racing as well. True. Andy. It's true. I mean, look, I'm not yeah. even trying to say hide it. I'm just saying... You know, you gotta. We gotta be better. It's like if you've made a mistake, you you don't it just it. You you, you want to get it out. You you want to try to not have it still out there to not to not have you be defined by the mistake you made. Is what I'm trying to get at, right? Um, and there are ways you can do that. And I, I do support if you've said if you've been a hateful person in your past, you should try to remove that if you can, because it's you don't want the hate out there. You know what I mean? In the world, not to save yourself, but to be better. You can yeah. still fess up to it, apologize, and take accountability for it. We all should do that, which he's did. He's now done. It would have been nice to have him do it before it happened uh you know but the timing of all this has happened this was on the 30th so it, like it sort of happened early on he was in a very tough spot uh and so it makes sense the way flash team re responded uh it's a lesson for all of us to learn uh, to to be better and to not say stupid things especially kids out there watching everything is saved everybody's watching everybody's reading everything you make you gotta you gotta be better and not think. Um, oh online it's so much easier to, for a lot of this, these new generations to think I can say anything, and it really can come back to haunt you. Especially if yep. you're saying it in a way that you think is not hateful, it will be seen as hateful. So everyone be wi be wise to this. Be careful. Be better. Uh, at the same time, let's not be so quick to judge this poor guy. Uh, who knows what he really? If this is really the hate in his heart, right? That's where I'm stuck. And I do hope he uh, continues to take the accountability, continues to go down the right path, and. And not just uh, look it's it's tough because there's gonna be some people who say he's just making jokes lewis he's allowed to say whatever he wants and the reality is yes he is allowed to say whatever he wants freedom of speech but that doesn't mean there aren't consequences to the speech you choose to say especially if you're working on the cw and a show like the flash which is for children it just it, freedom of speech sure but not freedom you know guarantee of a job and so if you want to work in that space you want to be a working actor you got to be, be be careful and be better at putting your, your words out there shane cw Gills, is a private comp company yeah. that's what people confuse about free speech private companies are allowed to <laughs> restrain what they want. speech it's not public so there you go. CW is doing the right thing right now. If they feel it's going to hurt their brand, right? And right, like Shane right Gills is the other example of this, where it's like Saturday Night Live, where he got you know like fired. Like he leaned into it. He's like, "Look, you hired me for this. This is who I am. This is the type of comedy I do. I'm not going to give into my comedy." And you know what? That's his choice, and that's what he did. But Hartley uh, Sawyer is clearly trying to say, you know what? I'm sorry. He's going down the path of trying to get forgiveness and being better, and I applaud him for that. I hope he can figure this out. I would love to see him back on the show. I hope he can earn that back and uh, win back some of these fans. But it's tough. Once this happens, sometimes it's just it's a death nail, and it, it's over. Uh, so we will see. We'll keep you posted. I hope some more people stand up and at least try to help support him right now. If someone you know him, you're watching this, reach out to the guy. Don't be a stranger. The guy, that's the one thing I can help to anybody who's going through this. Just because they said something wrong doesn't mean they aren't human that they don't shouldn't have someone reach out to give them some support you can still condemn the words he said but you can still help rehabilitation and support to get them in a better place so uh let's all try to be kind in this situation uh the down it's it's done he's out uh we'll see what happens next lewis thank you so much for joining you can go check out lewis over at nerd report over on youtube excited to talk more uh, and you can always subscribe here thank you so much for watching i probably will talk about this again with jody tonight we're live it's tuesday uh so 9 p.m live on tuesdays and thursdays uh, thanks. Tune in then. See you, everybody. Woo!